Hi, this is the first part of two-part videos on kinetic theory of gas or molecular model of gas. In this first video, we will explore the conceptual ground and we will dig into the math in the second video. When we say kinetic theory or molecular model, we are getting into what we imagine gases to be made up of. Without rehashing all the ancient ideas about the five elements and whatnot, our current model is that of gas as bouncing balls, like this FAT simulation shows. This is state of matter simulation from fat.colorado.edu. I encourage you to find it on your own and play with it, but I will highlight some features of this molecular model. One feature you can immediately notice after playing around with it for a bit, raising the temperature and lowering the temperature, is how temperature is related to the speed of the molecules. Here's the neon gas at, wait for a bit, and we are back. Here's the neon gas at 500 Kelvin. See how fast the atoms bounce around. And here is the neon gas at 125 Kelvin. See how much slower the atoms bounce around. You will see when we complete the mathematical derivation of ideal gas law in the second video that the average speed of gas molecules is proportional to the square root of the temperature. The second thing you can see, and it's easier to see with the simulation under phase changes, is where pressure comes from. Let me heat up this neon solid until it turns into gas at some reasonable temperature. Hundred Kelvin, this is reasonable temperature. With this small number of gas particles, the pressure fluctuates. Using this finger, I can press down on the piston or just hold it in place. The force needed to hold this piston in place is related to the pressure being measured. But now, why is this force necessary? What would mechanically cause the lid to fly off if something wasn't holding it down? That would be all these particles bouncing from the lid. Each particle bouncing from the lid deliver some impulse, change of momentum to the lead, which can be translated to the force on the lead from the particles once you know the rate of collision. This is the origin of pressure in a sample of gas, the collisions of gas particles with the container, which leads to the pressure. You will see all the mathematical details in the second video, so we will hold off on the mathematical expressions until then. For now, while we have this simulation up, I want to point out one thing you will see soon enough in chapter 3. When I press the lid down, why does the temperature go up? To many people, this just makes intuitive sense. You squeeze something hard and it heats up. It's when you ask the questions of why that you realize that something is missing. When you look at the ideal gas law, it contains three dynamical quantities, pressure, volume, and temperature. When you are decreasing the volume by squeezing the cylinder, that factor alone doesn't tell you anything about pressure or temperature. If you could assume that the temperature was constant, then you can figure out that pressure also goes up. But nothing in the ideal gas law says that the temperature should go up and that as a consequence the pressure would go up even more than it would have if the temperature stayed constant. There is an energy consideration here that we'll cover more properly in chapter 3. So I will see you for the next video when we finally get to do all the math. Bye.